Hi, and welcome to another episode of Cross Patching. Now, I've seen that all the waveform generators, speaking in Buchla terms, or what we know as oscillators, are really popular on my channel. So I want to show you one of the weirdest oscillators or waveform generators that I know from the Buchla 100 world. And it's called the 132 Waveform Synthesizer. Now that's a very, very strange oscillator because it works in a really quirky way. And it looks like this. So you can see a lot of knobs, a lot of buttons. So how do we reproduce one of those? Because there's not a lot of them out there and they're pretty hard to find. Now luckily, there is a really cool YouTube channel called Source of Uncertainty. And they've actually covered this oscillator and I've watched the video and I thought, hmm, I think I'll be able to recreate that one. Now the idea of this oscillator is that it is actually a 32 step sequencer but it is moving so fast that it's actually going into the audio rate. So at first we need to build ourselves a 32 step sequencer and we can easily do that by simply using the BOG audio, the PGMR and the PGMRX. And now we have our 32 steps. The PGMRX is just an expander, so you put it on the right side of the PGMR and you're good to go. Now what you then should do to get it into the quote-unquote audio range is put the range to plus and minus three volts so it doesn't get overwhelmingly loud. So what we actually need now is a really fast clock but we can't really use our trusty pulsar because it's not that accurate. But what we can use is, well, an oscillator to drive it. I'm going to be using the sine oscillator from Bach Audio. And now we can see if we, when we connect it to the clock, it's moving really, really fast. It's moving in the audio rate. But so far we only have the first eight steps. So how do we get the other ones? Well, that's actually not that hard. What we can do, we can use a switch and we can just use the vanilla switch from VCV. Let's see where it is. Ah, there we go. With four inputs and one output. And we're connecting A in here B in here, C in here, and D in here. Cool. And we want um, the switch to change its mode whenever it passes the first step. So it goes through first row, changes, goes to the second, third, fourth. And we get the 32 steps. So I'm going to connect this to the click here. And now connect this oscillator to our sequencer. Now what we need to do now is we actually have to reset all of those buttons except for the first one. I'm going to do a quick cut so you don't have to Watch me do all the knobs, and I'll see you right after the cut. Okay, I've set everything to zero, or minus three in that regard, except for my first knob. And now we can connect this to our scope, and we get this rather strange looking spiky waveform. And if we want to listen to it, it's very 
all out, but here we get this kind of wave shape. And what we can do now, we are using all of those steps to increase the harmonic richness. That's why it's called the waveform synthesizer. So we just take this knob, add more, take this one, and then maybe like those three. So it has this really weird, strange kind of pulsy sound that is very, very reminiscent to some of the old Buchla 100 oscillators. But now let's use a VCA and a sequencer and see how it works. And while we're at it, let's FM it a little bit as well. See you after the cut. Well, I've now built this little setup to actually drive our strange little oscillator and also built one in so we can FM it the Buchla way so it's not just working on perfect ratios and following the main oscillator but we can do some contrapuntal FMing. Alright, let's hear it. We might have to offset our voltages a little bit. Let's see what we got. And reverb makes everything sound a little better. And let's see how we can actually implement some FM. get this really artificial, destroyed sound. Maybe this strange prototype Buchla 100 oscillator will have a place in your patch. I hope you've enjoyed this video and let me know what you want to see. All the best and see you in the next video. Bye.